see? This is what it's going to take. Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening. I hope the slaves are going to uh, rest easy um, because them and them damn fireworks. Actually, at this point, we need, I don't, I don't know why, and like I said before, why any black person is celebrating their independence. I don't understand that. But what's even more sinister is I don't understand that most of them don't have a pot to piss in and the window will throw it out of. But they got money to buy all these heavy, heavy, heavy fireworks to go out there and burn people's house down. Okay, because they don't want to sit where the city has to celebrate the festivities at. They want to go um, roll on their own and plant their stupid asses in the middle of people's homes and let off those rounds like that. I just can't for the life of me. I can't understand it. And it goes on to 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. My dog's a nervous wreck. I can't get my dog uh, to go outside. So, of course, she's crapping in the house. And I got to get this up because she won't go. She just will not. She refuses to itch. I have to pull her. And, of course, she's hundred over 120-something pounds. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. It, I can't. I'm going to pull my back out trying to pull you out the door. But this story that I wanted to uh, read to you, to me, it's a good news story somewhat. And this is what it's going to take because our children are being uh, shown a different way of life. And hopefully um, this spreads more than hate because I truly believe love is stronger than hate. But the moment an off-duty cop kneels on a 14-year-old's back after mistakenly accusing the young man of stealing a bike, the incident saw an unnamed officer press his knee on the kid's back. Listen, now, after what happened to George Floyd, they don't give a damn. Um, outstretched on the floor, he was caught on film, had since sparked outrage. The child, Ridge Park 8th grader Josh Nevis, is Puerto Rican, and his parents say he was singled out from the other kids due to his darker skin. The incident transpired outside of Starbucks in Chicago suburb of Park Ridge on Friday and was captured in full by one of Nevis' friends. The footage begins with the officer on top of Nevis, who was at the coffee shop with his friends when they discovered an abandoned bike resting on the pavement. And it was blocking the sidewalk. So Nevis reportedly moved the bike, leading the officer to accuse him of trying to steal it, despite the boy having his own bike at his side. The cop, who's dressed in shorts and a bright blue jacket in the footage, had restrained Nevis by digging his knee into the child's back. Nevis' companions then attempted to help their friend up from out of the officer's grip trying to create space between the cop and the youngster. A scuffle then ensued, with the cop eventually releasing Nevis, as the boy's friends attempt to defend him. The cop, who has yet to be identified, was confirmed to be an off-duty officer for the city's police department by an official who spoke to, uh, this article came from the dailymail.com. The force is currently conducting an internal investigation into the officer's behavior. See, there are no long, uh, lone rangers here. Either you for humanity or you not. And this is what it's going to take. I wish y'all could go to uh, Daily Mail. Actually, I wish I could put a link in here and so that you could actually see the footage. Because there's about four white young men who are actually kicking this police officer's uh, butt off of this little black child. They're not having it. This is their friend. And see, they're not used to being treated that way. And so they're not accepting that for their friend. And because they love their friend, they're like, hey, get up off his back. Let him go. And the officer is pretty shocked because he's being accosted by four or five white teenagers. So I think this is what I'm talking about. These are the Viola Lusos. These are the uh, Cheney and Warners. These are the individuals that are going to 
be allies in this race war because it's coming. And but what what's what's happening is no lie can live forever. And I believe that good is stronger than evil. And a lot of y'all get on me for that. But honey, you didn't you you good. Love is stronger than hate. Now, hate can get some shit moving. Don't get me wrong. Hate is a powerful emotion. But you can't sustain it. You understand what I'm saying? It'll burn you out. It'll burn you out. You can't get burnt out from love. I commend these young men for stepping up to the plate with their friend, for their friend. And not putting up with this freaking racism. Uh, out of all the kids out there, the officer goes straight to the black, the Puerto Rican boy, even though he has his own bicycle. But if it's a, he thinks because he saw the boy move the bike, oh, of course, the black boy had to have stolen the bike. And see, the sad part about it is everything about uh, Caucasian is mostly projection. They are the biggest thieves on the planet. They stolen us. This is the worst part about it. But yet and still, they've gotten the world to think that we're the biggest thieves. You look at the Vatican. You look at the Smithsonian Institute and all them places that they've stolen artifacts from Africa. Nobody steals like the white man. Nobody kills like the white man. And everything that they do, they try to project it off into every, any, and every, to us, black and brown bodies. But it's going to stop because the same trap that you set in for us, just like all through time, some of you will protect us. Some of you know what right and wrong is, and they're going to live their lives accordingly. Check out this article. It's just really interesting. It's in the Daily Mail about how the, the off duty cop. Deals his back, George, a la George Floyd. Like they don't care. They don't care. That's why we're gonna have to find a different way of policing. It can't go on like this. These are thugs. I don't, you know, this. They're thugs. Some of these people are thugs. And when they see black, they see crime. When they see brown, they see attack. And I'm so proud of these young men here that wasn't having it. They wasn't having it. They broke that cop off of their friend. 